Movable type printing press was first known in China, but perfected in Europe by Johannes Gutenberg around 1450. Movable type printing press was the most significant technology discovery since the Renaissance era. Back in the Middle Ages, music instruments were not as popular as vocal music. Printing had not yet been invented, so people learned music orally or by handwritten music. Manuscripts were commonly seen between 14th and 15th century written by monks for liturgical use. This page from a gradual or a book of plain songs for the mass published in 1312 is an example of a work done by hand. Certainly, this process resulted in fantastically beautiful results, but it was definitely impractical for mass production. Instead of handwritten music that could cause errors, time-consuming, and high cost, music printing could supply many of new music in copies of uniform accuracy. It also less costly, so the economics of supply and demand of printed music grew in ever-widening circles and helped the growth of musical literacy. Music printing evolution started from woodcut printing. By woodcut printing, detailed illustrations were usually made to decorate the music scores. This concept requires the skill of woodcut, so it wasn't really simple. The next step of music printing was the use of movable type printing press. Music printing with movable type obviously uses more complex symbols than the 26 letters of the alphabet. Using movable type meant the notes could be assembled in any order, rearranged and reused on the typesetter, then transfer it to the printing press. Here's the process of music printing with movable type. But the result of using the movable type for music printing wasn't so satisfying. As you can see, the steps weren't so neat, it has gaps between the lines, therefore appeared broken or wavy. The first fully printed music appeared in Germany in the late 15th century. The first person who printed the music score was Ulrich Klein, and Ottaviano Petrucci was the first person who used movable type to make polyphonic music called the Harmonice Musicis Odicaton A. Petrucci also worked with and printed music for all sorts of composers, so he had procured a patent on his process and a privilege that effectively guaranteed him a monopoly on music printing in Venice for 20 years. Movable type obviously cannot create the beautiful illustrations on the music score. For that, the next music printing evolution continued to copper plate engraving in the late 17th century. The basic process of engraving for music involves cutting the staff lines onto the plate, either by freehand cutting of the images or use burring punches for note heads and any other symbols. Burring is the tool to engrave, and this process requires steady hand and great skill to do. In the Renaissance era, Printing music encouraged amateurs to make music so that it affected the development of music. It also provided a new way for composers to make money. In fact, the existence of printed copies has preserved many works for music performance and study by later generations.